KD for the Wealth Wells. You wanna learn how to trade the futures effectively? I'm gonna give you two tips, just two, to crushing this thing and making a couple hundred bucks. Today in the Discord, we did $400 on the low side for some, $1,900 top side for others in one hour. I'm gonna show you two tips to trading the futures effectively in early morning trading. When there can be low volume or smaller moves, how do you get it? Are you ready? Ready to learn it? Let's get it. Okay, so as discussed, we're going to show you two tips to trade in the futures and uh, in early morning. All right, so uh, in the futures channel today, if you click the link attached to the video, you can find uh, find me and uh, come into the Discord. Join tier three. I post my levels. All the cool stuff is in there, right? Here's what you should know. I traded the futures today as I'm doing for the month of June in the morning with the Discord. So 6 a.m., I'm trading every morning. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing it is because uh, some Discord members have asked me uh, for early morning training. That's what this Discord is about. It's not for you to blindly follow, but it's for you to understand how I trade. I understand people are going to follow along, but uh, we encourage you to learn how to trade, right? To kind of get the goods. So to do that, um, to, to train them, I've got to I've got to do some early bird specials. So uh, in my book, How to Day Trade with a Full Time Job, there is paired digital training. In those trainings, I show you exactly what we did today. Uh, the call outs were made early in the Discord. Crushed this thing, right? In fact, I also set a buy limit uh, down around that 5348 area. So came down, made money, out, got filled, ran it back up for the open session there. That ended up making us about $1,200 on that move. And then there were some other moves that we, we crushed. All in all, about $1,900 made in the morning. By our first trade, we were already up about 400 bucks, right? About 400 bucks. So, all right, how do you do it? All right, here's two tips, okay? Everything I do is volume-based. What you see on your screen, the VVP indicator, Wealthwell's volume profile, okay? I've got that on my screen. I have it adjusted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you with something. If you're looking for something to trade for you, this ain't it, okay? You need to learn how to use the indicator Learn how to use the adjustments that I've made and that I make, and you're going to go to the bank, all right? I'm going to bring this back over one more time. I'm going to let you get a, a peek of the sneak peek channel, and someone in there said something nice. Uh, let's see here. Man, made my day early morning. Just, just in the morning, by the time we were done, in one hour, this trader crushed this thing, right? So learn how to use this thing. All right, let's get to it. So there's just two tips I'm going to share with you, all right? The first tip is short targets, short targets. So before you understand, you know, before you even look at a trade, never get into a trade when you don't know where you're going. The number one question you should be asking yourself before you're in any trade, where are we going? When it's early morning, short targets, all right? Now, there's lower volume before foreign markets begin to pick up. To trade that, I've got my latest setup here, trading volume areas, all right? Trading the value area so you can understand how to adjust what to do, all right? Here's the trade we took this morning. The trade is right here, okay? This is the area that we took this morning, okay, with the trades, okay? From 6 a.m. to 7, this is where we were, right? All we did, do you see the gray line right there off the VVP indicator? Do you see those white arrows? Those are my signals based on what I like to see written into the, the code for the script. When I see this right here, perfect, perfect, off of a level, I have to take the trade. This trade right here is what we took. This trade made me money. Plenty of time to get out of the trade. So the first thing, short targets. The target here, 364, uh, the entry 36, 5364, and then 5359. All right, we're talking five points, five points. Get a few contracts, one or more, you're good to go. All right. The second thing you need to understand is tight stops, all right? So in this example, where was my stop? Typically, I use the previous highs candle when it's low volume 
the previous high, if it's not exaggerated, okay, which is right here. There's the previous high. This is where my stop is going to be. This means I'm less than one dollar, right? That's a, less than a dollar, less than a point, rather. That's going to protect me if uh, if I get stopped out. So on the futures, you're going to lose what fifty bucks for one contract, a hundred bucks for two contracts, but you you stand to make anywhere from two to five hundred bucks on this move. If you double dip on the on Nasdaq, you'll make even more. All right, that's what we did this morning. That's what allowed us to make. Uh, 1900 bucks this morning, 1200 on this just one move, and we took a couple other scalps and one hour done. You can literally be done with your day if you're trading the futures in the morning using the early bird special and some other things. Now, I detail how that works inside of the training, uh, but that was basically it. All right, now, of course, I'm also cognizant of a few things, so I'm not going to leave you without saying just two more things that you should have in the back of your head. Now, this training is just based on hey, I've got short targets and I've got tight stops. If you know where you're going, five points, I like to look for a five point move in the in the morning. Five points. That's all I'm looking for, right? Short targets. And I want a one point stop, right? Meaning I want my stop to be one point above beneath whatever it is, because I'm looking for the break. I'm not looking to get wicked out, anything like that, right? So you really got to time it. What helps me is using the VDP indicator right there. I've got levels. I've got an areas where I can I, I, I can watch this area. I can watch the price action. Dance, dance. Okay, we're breaking down, holding, breaking down, breaking down. I can see us consistently break down underneath my level. So I know this is a good area to get in, all right? That's my key area, all right? The short target is down here. I know where I'm going, and then my entry. The other factors is uh, sentiment. You know that there's data print coming <laughs> at 8.30. Now, what does the market like to do prior to data print? It gets wicky, it, uh, a rush of volume is gonna come in, traps, right? All that stuff is gonna happen prior to. So I like to be out of my trade 20, 30 minutes prior to. I like to be out just in case volatility begins to whip and I'll get caught in the whipsaw, all right? So I'm cognizant of sentiment, right? I know what the market is going to do and I understand when market moving data is going to hit. Those are the two tips I'm going to give you. These two tips allowed us to go to the bank today, made us about $1,900 inside of the, uh, the futures channel this morning, traded uh, early this morning. I do 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. periodically, crushed this thing and uh, went to the bank. All right, what should you do from here, all right? Here you go. Go to the link attached to the video, uh, get the core training, and then you can take my setups in any order that you want. Um, what I just shared with you is discussed in this book, How to Day Trade with a Full-Time Job, and I give you video um, exercises in there and training in there to help you understand how to crush this thing and take it to the next level, all right? So listen, apply what you learn here. Just those two tips will take you far and allow you to build things up, and then after that, hey, you can join the Wealth Wells Discord and uh, come on in here and start crushing it with the rest of us, all right? KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out. Thank you.